Some people say science confirms that a global catastrophe will kill millions in 2012. I'm Brian Dunning, and you're watching In Fact. Welcome to the show that gives you the real facts behind popular myths. What exactly is supposed to cause this planetary destruction in 2012? And where did we get this prediction? The exact date of December 21st, 2012, comes from the ancient Mayan Long Count Calendar, which repeats every 395 years, a period of time called a Bactoon. The Mayans themselves have a celebration whenever their calendar rolls over, much like we do every New Year's Eve. Today's Mayans don't expect anything different at the end of this Bactoon. To them, it's just another big party. But for no apparent reason, New Agers have been trying to match the Mayan New Year with some hypothetical global catastrophe. Some astrologers have actually changed the beginning of the Age of Aquarius from the year 2600, which is when it's actually supposed to begin according to the official constellations, to 2012. An old internet hoax has even been recycled, which predicted that a mythical Planet X was going to crash into the Earth in 2003. Change the date to 2012, and people are buying it now just as much as they did 10 years ago. If you do a Google search, you'll find there are still far more listings for Planet X 2003 than for Planet X 2012. Try it right now. It's amusing. The Planet X legend got its start with this ancient Sumerian carving that has been erroneously interpreted to depict a solar system with ten planets. Why the ancient craftsmen should be presumed to have planetary knowledge superior to that of modern astronomy is not convincingly argued. If you respect ancient cultures, read their real history. You'll find they actually do have a lot to offer. One thing that is going to happen in 2012 is that our sun will reverse its magnetic poles. It actually does this every 11 years. Always has, always will. This is the 11-year sunspot cycle, caused by the churning convection currents inside the sun. It's never destroyed the Earth yet, and there's no reason to think it could now. But don't feel bad for the 2012 myth. In James Randi's Encyclopedia of Claims, Frauds, and Hoaxes of the Occult and Supernatural, he lists 44 distinct end-of-the-world predictions that all came and went unfulfilled. So rest easy. 2012 is merely number 45 on this list, and you can be sure there will be a 46 and 47, but 48 really is going to kill us all. I'm Brian Dunning, and this has been In Fact. In Fact is made possible by financial support from viewers like you. Please visit infactvideo.com.